Hello and welcome back here to Football Manager 2020 here at Rasgo Gaming where we're trying to take Basit to the top of Premier League and beyond. So far, four matches in in the first season and as you see, we're not doing too great. We've been a little bit unlucky in the last episode, I would say, with not getting the results with us really, but... Let's hope we can change that in this episode. And uh, we'll get back into the next match against Welling if nothing interesting happens before that. So see you in a little bit. So here we are now, match day against Welling. And according to the odds, we are slight favorites. Oh, uh, uh, another really close match. But Welling on a really strong form here, as we see. So. Probably will be a tough match, but we are at home, so that's good at least. And uh, do we need to do anything here? I think we have the strongest players on the field, so I don't really want to change that. Unless anyone is uh, under 90% in overall condition. And uh, none of the players really are that, so uh, that's good. And uh, Calvary here. Yeah, current ability, you are lacking behind uh, Clark here so we'll, we'll not really bother with that and uh, I don't know what that tip is that we can press that's a little bit strange but uh, I hope it's nothing too important so to say and uh, we'll continue here and just kick off just as usual and uh, trust our instinct and trust our uh, uh, assistant to do the right things or do the right instructions and everything like that individual instructions that is first highlight here and it's a goal for Welling United unfortunately on a goal uh, not a goal kick a free kick in a dangerous spot there and uh, don't know really how that got through well with the with the curve of course and uh, or uh, wall there defensive wall and uh, not correctly placed i guess and uh, i guess we'll start shouting here then uh, again <laughs> another highlight here uh, free kick in a pretty similar uh, position really to be honest here for welling and another curve and it's in as well <laughs> Well, in taking or uh, extending their lead here, zero to two for Bassett versus Welling in Goldberg two times in a row, <laughs> getting goals from free kicks uh, from this area. Really looked like it was uh, outside of the post, uh, I think, but uh, apparently not the case. Goldberg with another free kick here, this time saved by Clark and. Uh, I don't know if that really were unlucky by Goldberg. We already having scored it two times from uh, the free kick or free kicks. Uh, but uh, yeah, the commenters said there that that was unlucky. I, I'm not too sure. Uh, might be a chance here. No. Uh, that dragged on a little bit. So almost felt like it could be a chance there for Basity. But we are really struggling here uh, looking at, uh, on the stats uh, no shots n very low position and everything here in, in this match definitely a uh, very very bad match so far for us and uh, trailing by two here after one half zero to two and i said the stats are not looking good at all here and uh and our assistant here the first talk and then will be asserted that we, that we are not happy with a couple of players performance uh, overall here it's a very very low ratings a few players here that uh, are especially bad smith and uh, harper at 6.3 and 6.2 uh, first highlight here for Bad City in the 47th minute. She lose with the corner to Britain and it's a goal for Bad City here in the 47th minute. So reduced directly in the second half. So that's pretty darn great and uh, maybe a chance for us to come back in the match nonetheless there. And uh, pretty nice goal there by Britain. Scoring on our first chance which is uh, very nice. 
Next highlight here in the 53rd minute. Looks like it possibly for Bassett here. Edwards picking up that loose ball, yeah. And gaining control of it or dribbling forward rather. And able to cross it. No, misses. And Harper, are you going? Yeah, you are running faster. Smith and back to Batten and Batten a uh, long ball up to Britton to Edwards. Edwards with a shot there, but uh, safe hands there from their keeper. So pretty good sequence there, but uh, no goal. And uh, the highlight is apparently not over. So Welling United come here with a long shot and it's a goal for Welling United. We extending the lead to one to three for Bassett versus Welling here in the 54th minute. And uh, yeah, a lot of power behind that shot. Uh, from Cook here and uh, a long way out, long way out, but straight into the top corner there. And I uh, thought we were coming back into the match here a little bit, and uh, not the case, unfortunately. And uh, we'll shout, show some passion here, and uh, we'll make a sub or two. So, Reigns instead of Harper having a bad game. And Richards instead of Smith. And uh, Man instead of Pearson here, who's tired. Uh, so we'll do all three substitutions at once. So we don't have any opportunity to do that later, unfortunately. And the uh, next title tier uh, in the 71st minute. And uh, Welling United with control of the ball here again. Uh, but uh, Richards uh, taking control in uh, the midfield and passing to Man here. And on quick feet coming in and crossing the ball towards Edwards. And it's a goal for Bassett here in the 71st minute. 2 to 3, a reduced here again. And uh, maybe a chance to get back to a draw here at least. And that would be pretty terrific. I would say and uh, yeah great cross turn and uh, good uh, performance by our substitutes there and uh, we'll shout the man more here I hope that that gets some focus free care from Shilvers and Bassetti and Baxter just over the top bar there a good chance that unfortunately didn't hit the target so we'll be uh, ready here to shout one more time. Next highlight here in the 87th minute. Uh, Bassetti in control of the ball. Passing up to Britton to Edwards again on the right hand side. Dribbling the ball upwards. And uh, getting the ball through now. Just a poor, really poor effort <laughs> actually. Really poor shot. And uh, yeah, show some passion here. Four minutes of extra time. Why the heck are we in cautious? We want to be in balanced. Oh, that's what's happening when I'm pressing adjust the tactics to adjust it back to cautious. I don't really want to be on cautious. So we will change that uh, towards the next match. This match ending 2 to 3 for Bassett versus Welling. Shots 6 to 15, shots on target 3 to 8, and possession 45 to 55%. So, yeah, definitely didn't deserve to win that one as, as such. Uh, so I, I, I feel like the result are right. I feel like it's not up to the level that we want to, of course, though. And uh, that will be seen here as uh, the board is not going to be happy with that. And we are now down to 17th place in the league, four points off from a playoff spot. And uh, our goal is top half of the table at least. So. We are definitely training by that a little bit, but uh, it's early in the season, so things can change. And I will be back very shortly at the next match. And we're back here with another home match, and uh, this time against Oxford City in a very similar position that we were in the last match. We were very slight favorites here, but we're in pretty poor form but Oxford City in strong form. So we really need to uh, find somehow to turn things around. 
and uh, yet again we are definitely not really switching uh, players here as this is the best team and uh, I need them to play together to get famil familiar <laughs> familiarity and intensity together with them and also uh, they're uh, sort of fluid between uh, the team members or uh, yeah the team members so that is what we're trying to do uh, we'll keep playing the same team here unless we see really really poor performance from uh, a couple of players or something like that this time i didn't do the tactics changes that uh, i got suggested before so we're uh, running balanced mentality here for this match oh and we're very nearly starting again in an uphill battle in the first minute this time a good chance there by Oxford City uh, but not hitting the uh, goal next highlight here in the six minute Pearson here picking up and the ball in uh, really high up in uh, the attacking half of uh, the pitch and uh, the ball passing back and forth now a little bit uh, rather slowly to be honest uh, but uh, uh, it was uh, depossessed there by Oxford City two times in a row now. And uh, they're building a play here now instead a little bit faster in uh, the midfield. And uh, are still in the mid, but uh, creeping in here towards our, uh, our penalty area. And uh, playing it wide here and the cross is in and the herder is over the top bar. But getting in there far too easy and uh, yeah, I didn't uh, like the look of that at all. And we have a free kick for Bassett Chilvers with a cross to Baxter and it's a goal for Bassett, but it has been disallowed for offside. That can't be by much or rather it was by a bit. It wasn't really offside on, uh, on uh, that player though, to be honest. Next time, another free kick here by Silvers and uh, headed there by Britton, but saved by the keeper, unfortunately. At least for, uh, well, yeah, at least for us, so to say. And uh, still in control of the ball and still uh, the Highland isn't gone. So Bassetti with the control here driving it up on the right hand side by Edwards and crosses it in and straight into the keeper's hands, unfortunately. And uh, Bassetti regaining control on uh, the goal kick. Silvers passing up to Pearson here, dribbling forward on the left hand side, getting through and shoots. And a pretty good save by King there. And uh, Pearson there unfortunately shooting instead of trying to cross it in. Uh, a really good position there to cross it in and do something good out of it. And uh, here we are pretty good in terms of shots at least. Position pretty even here so far in uh, this match. But yeah, we seem to be dominating in terms of getting shots uh, away and everything like that. So a goalless first half, so zero to zero here. But looking at the stats, it feels like we have the upper hand and hopefully that will shine through here in the second half. Looking at the player ratings, we're doing quite all right. A lot better than the last couple of matches. So this uh, mid talk will hand over to our assistant. I didn't uh, get any action from our players there, unfortunately, but uh, that's all right. So hopefully we can do something good here in the second half and get by with uh, a goal or two to win this match, which we quite desperately needed, to be honest here. Uh, we do have a highlight going on here, uh, straight off from the kickoff in the second half. And... Uh, it is Oxford City in control of the ball here in the midfield. Playing it wide now and uh, clearing it there, but unfortunately not to uh, Bath City. So uh, still Oxford City here in control of the ball here. And now on the left hand side of the uh, penalty area, playing it into the middle and a poor attempt of a sliding tackle there and uh, not getting through. Passing just outside the penalty area and getting in here and a chance. And it's a goal for Oxford City, unfortunately, here in the 46th minute. 
taking the lead in this match directly in the second half not the start at all we wanted in the second half and uh, yeah really frustrating to be honest yeah feels like Clark maybe should have gotten to that ball uh, all right so let's change the mentality up here to attacking and shout show some passion uh, we'll probably need to switch out Brunt here sooner or later. And we now hit in the 60 minute mark and we get another highlight. And this time for Oxford City uh, on a free kick. But uh, we managed to clear it and uh, keep control of the ball. So a chance for a counter attack here for Bass City. Britain are through, pass to Brunt. No, he shoots and it's a goal and it's equalized here in the 62nd minute. And uh, this goal stands, I hope. Yeah, it, I think it does. Uh, feel, feels like that wasn't too far off from offside either. Yeah, that must have been really close actually. And we'll see whether we're totally free there. We'll see if we'll get an, uh, nope, no replay on uh, an eventual offside. So let's put in a man instead of Brunt and uh, someone instead of uh, Edward, so we'll have Reigns there. Uh, the players that are most tired and uh, will play Hatridge instead of Baxter here as well, who's uh, closing in on that 70 uh, point mark in uh, freshness, so to say. And we're still in uh, attacking, so that's fine. And uh, we'll shout again, show some passion here. And uh, only minutes to go, and uh, maybe the last highlight of the match here. And it's Oxford City with control of the ball, uh, but Pearson picking that up uh, on a poor, um, poor control of the ball of uh, uh, Oxford player. A long ball up to Britain. Britain passes Shears here uh, to Smith, and playing it wide to the left here to Pearson. Pearson able to cross it, yeah, cross it long to Reigns into Britain and almost over the keeper there, but uh, pretty easy save by the keeper to be honest. And uh, I think this is the last highlight of the match in the ninth third minute and it's a goal for Oxford City in uh, extra time and another long shot that uh, went into the goal. So maybe long shots are the things to go for here in uh, Football Manager 2020 or uh, our keeper are just so bad that he doesn't get to it. And uh, yeah. Very unlucky here again for Bath City. Final score a one to two uh, versus Oxford City. Shots fifteen to ten, shots on target eleven to seven, and possession fifty to fifty percent. So, as I said, feels like we should have won that match. Overall, our players actually doing quite decently, uh, but uh, just not getting there. I feel like that definitely were an unlucky match. Now down in 19th place, uh, six points up to a playoff spot and uh, only one point clear of the relegation zone. So obviously not too great at all. Uh, definitely feel like we, we've been good, but just not getting there. Very, very frustrating. Anyway, we'll see you very, very soon in the next match. All right, so we're back here again and uh, this time against Bullockay. Um, as, well, as an away team and this is going to be a tough one obviously as uh, you see here for the first time in a bit we're not favorites and I guess that's due to the poor form also really gay being a really strong team uh, here in uh, Verna National League South uh, it's all, always been the case that they have a really strong team and they still uh, do and we get some uh, uh, partnership here but unfortunately, uh, it's uh, all fairly poor. But I hope that they will get up to a better level. Britain here have been playing pretty darn good, actually, in all matches. The average rating here is all right on all the players. Uh, could be better, but it, uh, it's all right. So we are, everyone is fit. 
and everything like that. So we're definitely just going to keep exactly how we've been playing here. I don't really see the point in doing any changes yet. Uh, a little bit soon we might do that, but I think we've just been unlucky. So we'll keep uh, the same things uh, going and uh, hope to do good and just uh, kick off and play here. And uh, as I said, hope for the best here. So we'll see here against Billy K how we managed to do. And uh, it seems to be that we will get a highlight straight off uh, as this uh, this now. I, I do believe it just goes away if it isn't a highlight. Uh, sort of still haven't really noticed if that's the case. But I sort of have noticed, but I'm not just sure, I think. So we'll see here what happens here. Basic taking, uh, snapping up a loose pond there. Edwards and driving the ball forwards. And he's fast, really fast. Can he cross? No. And it's a penalty here in the first minute for Basity. Uh, so that is really great here for us. So Brunt with a penalty, a chance to take the lead in the second minute. And he scores! Bassett taking the lead here uh, in the second minute and Brunt's first goal of the season. And uh, yeah, that's good because we need Brunt to do good and score a lot of goals. Even though he's not really uh, necessarily a goal uh, goal scoring type of attacker as he's playing target man and everything like that but a really great starter for us and we hope we can build on it next highlight here in the 16th minute and it's a started to drain is for Billy Kay and they hit the top bar there on that uh, free kick and almost got a really good chance there uh, on the rebound what the hell now? Frustrated by what? Did we do a shout? I don't know. Uh, next highlight here in the 29th minute. Bassett this time with uh, a free kick. Uh, boxed out, but Batten getting the ball in to Edwards and a shot there. Uh, but not really a big chance. So Billy Kay may be coming here and being up play in the midfield. And uh, getting up towards... Uh, Akinwande, who was very lonely there, but managing quite well, passing the ball backwards. And now they have a lot more in here up top, but a good sliding target kill in there, and uh, Bassett in control of the ball again. Bront here managing to find Britton in a through ball, and it's another goal for Bassett here in the 30th minute, and uh, extending the lead here to 2-0. Two, two, and uh, yeah, that's really darn great for us. To be honest, a really, really great pass there. And uh, yeah, getting totally one-on-one -on -one with the keeper there. And uh, a really, really good attempt and everything like that. And Britain uh, sixth goal of the season. So he's definitely doing good here. She was with a free kick to Britain. And it's another goal for Bath City here in the 34th minute. And now we have the lead 3-2-0. And uh, yeah, I didn't think this was the game that we uh, would turn things around. But it looks like it is. Really, really great, actually. What feedback? Why, why are you frustrated? It's very strange. Oh, well, uh, leading, as I said here, after one half, three, two, zero, and uh, stats looking good. It doesn't look like we should lead three to zero. Uh, it looks like we might uh, be be all right leading but other than that it doesn't really look anything like the results are actually saying overall the team definitely performing really well here so far which they should be uh, having so to say as uh, they are leading three to zero then you should have pretty darn good stats uh, by that and overall all these players are pretty darn 
well uh, in good good condition so i'm not really looking to do any substitution here at the, the 60 minute mark like we're usually doing and it's a goal here in the 62nd a minute for billy k here unfortunately and again here i feel clark shining through that he's not really a great keeper which is going to be a trouble for us here this season clearing the ball there and uh, then uh, uh, shot a pretty good shot uh, but uh, it, it really should have been uh, saved there by Clark I feel uh, so we are going to switch uh, a couple of players now so we'll uh, take uh, Richards in here and let him play instead of uh, Pearson or will we now instead of Smith here actually and we'll play man instead of Brunt here resting him a little bit and we'll actually also put in uh, Hartridge instead of Batten in the 70 minute mark so switching all the players here and uh, let's hope we don't get an injury or anything like that next highlight here in the 77th minute Billy Kay playing uh, with the ball playing here uh, in the midfield or now up to the attacking area just outside the penalty area back passing back and forth and playing it wide here to Ramsey on the left hand side and the cross is in and it's headed and it's the post oh very nearly another goal there for Billy Kay and so that were a bit the dangerous so we'll go down to very defensive and what are you saying I disabled the sideline shout, so very strange that something is coming from the assistant manager there. But no matter what we won in the game, 3 to 1 versus Billy K. Shots 10 to 9, shots on target 4 to 5, and position 51 to 49 percent. So obviously, looks like it should have been a pretty even game, but we were definitely having the upper hand here in. Uh, in actually getting the ball into the goal which is great and overall great performance by the lads which we are very happy about so uh, pretty darn great and uh, we will see that uh, brings us up to 14th place in the league six points off from a playoff spot still still i think that were the same last time around uh, so definitely helped there that the last match didn't I think that were the one to uh, to see, so to say, as said. But uh, it it was a good one, and uh, we'll praise Britain's performance here. And uh, yeah, we end our five match winless run, and that will be everything for this episode. So I hope you have enjoyed, and thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you here soon again. With that said, bye bye. You have been watching Rollsclaw Gaming and I hope you have enjoyed. On clicking on the video on the left you will see the next video in this series and on the right our latest upload to the channel. And with that said, thank you again for watching.